Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I am here to share with you another little project that I have created. It's actually not a project. I created some um, embellishments and I also created shaker embellishments. And I thought they came out super cute. And again, this is a digital collection from Decorate Your Life here on YouTube. She has um, her own online store where she creates these super cute digital paper packs and you're able to download them and put them at print them at home and I shared this with you in a previous video and anyway so um remember those rosettes that I made I actually used them in this project and I also use my button maker machine and look at these you guys they're so cute I love how these look now this is what it looks like when you use the little acetate sheet that they provide and this is what it looks like without the acetate sheet I love it I love it both ways and you can see the little image right there this one is let me show you really quickly what that looks in a larger scale and it's so tiny but i think it looks so cute it's actually this one it's this one the one with the truck there's the girl and then there's the loaded truck and it's that one right there look how cute that is it's adorable so that's what that looks like and I used several dies again. I'm really, really trying to use up these dies that I have in my stash and don't use them. Now this is from KS Craft. Uh, which other one? This is from AliExpress. I don't know from who. And then this one is from Panalisa. And I think that's it that I used. And just like in the other video, I also used um, the diamond dies, this one to make some sunflowers and is there anything different? I think that was it you guys. So let me show you the first ones, the first set of dies. So here are the rosettes with the buttons and look how cute these are. You can make this into a shaker but I decided not to because this this frame that the die comes with is so thin and I just didn't want to deal with it but look how pretty this is and I made a third one. Oh yeah here it is and here is the third one and uh, I love those buttons and I think they're so cute and look at the bee you guys uh, the bee is so cute I looked at some of the samples that they have and I noticed that they added vellum to the wings and I loved that idea so that's what I did so there is the first set of embellishments now the second set actually all of them are shakers look at this you guys now this is the die set from KS Craft and look at that bee oh, I absolutely love that little bee it's a it's two dies and it's so cute there's that one I added the um, dipstick into this one Here's one without the dipstick, and now I just used the word, the word, it comes with this word that says honey, and I added a, a bee to each one of these because that bee is just so cute. That one, and then here's this one, another um, shaker, and it's so cute, I love it. And I added again this, the dipstick, I think that's what it's called. So that's what that looks like and I believe I only made three yes and then now the other die set was this one right here and I was supposed to make a third one but I was like you know what I'm done I want to I, like I said I've been done like I said in my last video I've been done with this project for two months and I just want to share this with you already and so I didn't get a chance to use this die this particular um, piece of dye but I did use the rest of it and here I only make two of these so here is the first one and this one is a little bit more shabby you know me I love my shabby you guys I've as hard as I'm trying to create a little bit more you know to tr try and stay away with from shabby I, I just can't I had to 
add some lace and trim and flowers and all that good stuff. So that's what I've done here. And that says be kind. And look at that bee. So cute. I absolutely love it. And nothing in the back. And here's the trim that I used. And then one last one, you guys. And this time, now these shakers are using acetate. You can see the clear plastic right there. And this one is using tool. Oh my gosh, I haven't used tool in a very long time. And look how pretty that is. Oh, I love it. And here are these small little um, sunflowers. And I didn't have any really small leaves. So what I did was I used one of Nicole Silhouette's exclusive die sets that you can only find on her Etsy store when she announces it because it sells very quick. And so I was very lucky to been able to uh, purchase one of her die sets. And it comes in, and if you followed me, you know that on Instagram, you know that I actually posted this. And I only posted this and I forgot to post the dies. But this is um, the flower die set number one. That right here. And I use this uh, flower set to make these little itty bitty leaves. So the green, all the green that you see here are actually these. And this one right here is actually this die set. And I believe it's the smaller ones. It's really pretty. So it was perfect to make leaves, even though it's supposed to make flowers. But look how cute this is, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think this, I honestly think this is my favorite one, but I also like this one. And I love the shaker ones too. And I love how these rosettes look. Okay, I like all of them. But yeah, so that is it for today. And if you haven't checked out my previous video where I shared this project right here, go ahead and check it out. I'll have it down in the description box or at the end of this video. So let me know what you think of this bee themed embellishments that I have created. I think they're so cute. And don't forget to check out Sandy's store for this beautiful digital bee collection. I'll have it down in the description box. Thank you all for watching and hope you all are having an amazing day. Bye everyone.